What we're going to do today is to show you how to braze uh, a tube seat onto some 3 8 copper tubing. And this is uh, a tube seat that holds a nozzle. And you can see that here is the tube seat already brazed onto this 3 8 piece of stainless steel. And that's a silver solder, uh, uh, stay sill, uh, brazing solder, 45% uh, silver. It has a very good uh, uh, capability of holding uh, pressure. So in this tube seat, as you can see, here is the seat itself uh, that's already on there. And it's curved to sit onto the seat. And you can see that if I put it on here, it's curved just perfectly to sit on there. So what you do is you drill a hole into the tube. You know, right here, you drill a hole into the tube and then you set this tube seat over it and braze it on to it. Now this tube seat is what the nozzle fits onto. So you can see here, if I take this nozzle, I can screw it into it and it will, uh, and that's where the nozzle goes on and I'll screw it into the seat here and as you can see that's where the nozzle is going to go on to well, right there so what we're going to do is show you how to braze it on So what I'm doing here is I'm going to, you know, drill a hole into this other piece of tubing, uh, and it's lined up uh, with the uh, with the one that's already brazed down there. I'm going to drill a hole right next to it. These are actually 20 foot sections of tubing, and I'm putting three of these tube seats on each 20 foot sections, and each uh, one is 6.6 .6 feet apart. Uh, and then that gives you 3.3 feet at the end to combine the sections together. But uh, so this is the next one I'm going to drill a hole in. And what you use is a drill bit that is, it's a cobalt drill bit. This happens to be a 732nd inch drill bit. <clears throat> That's about as big as you want to go. You could go a little bit smaller than that. One, one eighth is just a, kind of seems to be a little bit too big. But uh, cobalt is about the best drill bits you can get, and you do use these at a slow speed with the drill, because uh, if you use it at a high speed, it will burn up the drill bit. So on stainless steel, you use it slow and, uh, and drill a hole in it. And you can do this uh, just on the fly, and I'll show you that. I, haven't, I won't punch any uh, particular hole uh, with a punch to get it started. I'll just start drilling and it seems to work pretty well if you steady the drill. So uh, we'll set it up to drill this. So I've got this lined up the way I want it and I'm going to drill it right next to the one that's already in place. I don't have to have it right next to each other but I'm going to do it that way just to just to make sure that it's lined up right. But uh, hopefully this will go all right. You can, like I said, slowly start it. And I do have it on a slow speed of this drill, probably 400 RPM or so. And you can see it's starting to bite. And there we go. So we got the hole drilled in there. Now the next step is to, you know, to buff it out a little bit or actually kind of sand around this hole. We're doing a couple things as we're, we're actually cleaning it up like you're sanding a piece of copper tubing. So I'm using a Dremel drill here that's got a little sander buffer on it. And I just lightly sand right around the hole about half to two-thirds the way around the pipe 
down out about an inch or so. And that should do it. So what we're going to use here uh, to solder this or braise this is, is uh, you know, safety sill. It's cadmium free silver solder. 45% silver. I think it's like 30% copper and some zinc in there. But this is a, a very hard uh, brazing solder that works good with stainless steel. 1 16th inch diameter. Uh, and this, this is what it looks like. You know, here's a roll of it um, that we're going to solder it up with or braise it, we'll say. And you have to put a little bit of flux on it. Here's the safety sill flux, silver solder flux that we're going to put on it. Now this silver solder paste, uh, it's a white paste. Kind of looks like that on a brush. You don't have to use much. I do cover the hole. And you know, just get it around the area that you got to work with. Yeah, that should be good. And then you want to put a little bit on the seat itself. So you dab around the edges. And then on the seat itself, just get a little bit on there. And then you want to mount the seat, you know, on the tube. And you've got to line it up, look at it, uh, line up the hole, kind of look straight down on it, get it lined up. And then I use a uh, vice grips. With uh, to hold it in place, and it looks something like that. And then that's where I'm going to solder the top side, and then turn it over and solder the bottom side. Now what I'm using to braise this, I keep saying the word solder, but actually it's kind of termed braise, is an oxyacetylene torch. And this is a very small oxyacetylene uh, with a small tip on it. And uh, there's the two controls for it. So, and I use this a very small flame, uh, a, little bit, a little bit heavier on the oxygen, just a tad. Um, because these, this is a very hot torch, so you want to set it up right. And the idea is, is this flux, I want to heat it slowly to let it melt slowly. It'll turn white in color and then it will turn liquid. And that at that point you're reaching the point where the solder can, can go on there. So, um, so that's what we're going to do here next. So I'm going to get the torch going. Okay, here's the, the flame. It actually looks a little like it's more oxygen than, I, than an actual the flame is. Any of it. It's the right it's the right flame. So now I'm gonna get it in here. And I'm gonna slowly start to heat up that flux and you can see that it's starting to turn white to a degree. And then it starts to turn clear, and you're starting to get to the point where you can put on solder pretty quick, or <laughs> braise it. And temperature is always critical. There we go. Okay, 
That's good on that side. I'm going to release the clamp. And it actually rotates around in circles 180 degrees. Got to clamp it back down so you can see it. There we go. Now we'll finish this off. And there we go. It's not a bad one. But silver solder flows, you know, quite nice. And it's very strong, strong enough to hold the 1,000 PSI pressure that uh, we're certainly going to put into this pipe. And then I unclamp it, cool it off. That, that solder melts about 1200 to 14, that brazing rod or brazing melts at 1200 to 1400 degrees. You can see the silver look in it. And then what you do is you buff it up a little bit with a buffing tool. And there we go. And that's what it looks like. That's a pretty good braise all the way around. And it should be good enough to hold the water pressure that we're looking for.